I'd say so. I felt pretty good today. Um, I felt really good Wednesday. Um, well, I said really pretty good. And I felt really good Thursday. So uh, kind of knew that. Kind of made my decision like, hey, I want to play. I want to be a part of this uh, this game. So that's kind of like where the decision was like kind of finally made. It seemed like you guys were definitely out to prove something today. Yeah, uh, Coach Sweeney challenged us to really dominate a game. Um, he said it's been a while um, since we really dominated a game like we did today. And uh, so we just took that as a challenge from him and uh, just tried to do our best today. Tana, were you surprised that you guys dropped from the number one team in the country? Did you use that as any motivation to come prove that you are to the rest of the country? Uh, I wasn't surprised. This happened before, uh, so it's not really a big deal. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to us. I mean. You go from one to two, you're still in the four. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about how the end game works. So that doesn't really surprise me any, how they do the polls or whatever it may be. I don't really know what goes all into that. But um, I think it definitely showed that we are one of those teams right now, but we just got to continue to keep doing it. These past couple of weeks, Palmer Bond, maybe more specific type of leadership than maybe had to display before, personally. Um, yeah, I just try to lead the guys the best of my abilities. I don't, I don't know uh, if it's any different. I lead the same way week in and week out. I just try to challenge my guys and just uh, hold them accountable. I think it's the main thing, just coming in, doing extra film, extra uh, stretches and stuff that, like in the castle. Um, so I, I challenge them all the time, same week, week in, week out. Coach, you mentioned that you guys are going to be defensively in the first half. Uh, I think it was our preparation. We had two weeks to prepare for these guys. I know they did a lot of different stuff that we weren't uh, prepared for, but I think when you apply the concepts uh, of what we thought they were going to do with what we, with what call we have, I think it really just uh, just plays out really nice. I think we got a really veteran uh, back seven. I think you can do that kind of stuff and really show on Saturdays where you might not be specifically prepared for what they're going to do because um, they throw in some nuances of what they do, but. Uh, in the day, you supply concepts and it just rolls from there. I know you said, you know, two is you're still in the top four, but with it being subjective, did you guys kind of feel the pressure to go out and have a dominant performance today? No, um, we don't play for them. We play for our uh, teammates and our coaches and our fans and things like that. So I, I don't know anybody in the AP poll who, who's a part of that. So uh, it really doesn't matter what they think or what they put us at. Is it difficult to adjust, you know, you know, one drive, one quarterback's in, next drive, the other quarterback's in, is it not really that big of a deal? No, they, they did the same kind of concepts with both of them, so it wasn't really difficult. I mean, when you have, I think if you have, like, more of a runner and more of a passer, I think they were very similar. So I didn't think their game plan really changed as much. So for this one, so it wasn't really difficult. They still did their same stuff. So in your on college game days, how aware are you of what else is going on around the country? Like, during, right before you about to go out, are you aware that Georgia is losing to South Carolina and that kind of stuff? That game, yes, because everybody's telling me that's uh, like the support staff watching it on TV. So they tell me because my brother's over there. Uh, he had two catches, 18 yards from last time I saw it. They were 10 10. So after that, I, I had no idea. But uh, just kind of like when I got done with the game, just kind of kept uh, viewing the little uh, scoreboards for like timeouts and stuff, I guess. So I got to see, and uh, I was really blown away. They did a great job, I'm assuming. And uh, so we'll talk to Nick later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, you can ask about the speech that Trevor gave.